Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 a War of the Chosen. My name is Iken and today we're going to continue the Rise of the Robots campaign where we have just been shut down. This is probably going to be a two-parter but uh, we can already start. As always when we're being shut down uh, the assassin will try to yeah come at us and uh, try to kill us and we'll basically counteract that uh, with our defense metrics, we even have four towers, and it's a uh, coincidence uh, that some of them can, some of them probably cannot assist the front line as well as it could be. The way that I want to play this mission, not that it is strategically most sound, is we're going to send uh, six rookies on one side and the three mechs plus just one um, psi operative on the other side of the map. That way we're going to see just who clears it faster and also how six rookies with moderate equipment can deal with enemies. Uh, I want to emphasize that's not the optimal strategy, but as you might have noticed in the last few missions, we were pretty much curb stomping the enemies and I want to make it a bit more interesting for viewer pleasure and also for personal challenge. Let us start with moving Proceeding to target. into a high ground position there we go that worked well apparently mechs cannot move into that field although it, it is theoretically allowed but yet it's not allowed strange Just Good, everyone is moving over here. Bombard, by the way, does not end your turn. No, it, it does end your turn. I'm my bad. I guess that'll be okay. I thought for a second it would not end your turn. Good. Blue movements with all of the rookies. Let's see how the rookies will fare in those rather difficult circumstances. I mean, they're all bonded, so they at least get some extra actions, but that's the extent of their abilities, right? Wow, that's a massive overwatch. Let's hope someone steps into our overwatch trap. Two rounds until the Chosen will move into us. She's still affected by shell shock. Yeah, she can summon. She will take uh, willpower, and she's difficult to hit. But yeah, shell shocked and Templar is an as a villain from her perspective. Oh, we got a bit of fear of the chosen. That is, of course, not optimal. By the way, I did a small mistake. I could have just healed the mech glaive in the first round. Okay, at least that nasty shield bearer is gone. Are you kidding me? Obsessed for him means he's just running in like a madman. All right. Do what you will, my dude. Do what you will. Good. We are overdriving. And an Andromedon is a hardcore enough enemy for us to essentially use our skills 
First off, Rainmaker. Making it rain. Secondly, big fat damage to the Andromedon. There we go. Purifier. Yeah, we can kill the trooper. Let's do an efficient heal first. There we go. Just to top it off, I don't want any more injuries. Let's get the trooper. We know the next pack's already there. Let's try to get the purifier. <laughs> Why is there always explosions involved when you are playing with these guys? It's fantastic. I love it, by the way. Can't get enough of it. Should have done a spark run a long, long time ago, although it's not the most challenging one. It is definitely a highly, highly entertaining one. Good. Moving up just to close that fire line without triggering anything, of course. That's a nice hit. By the way, these towers here deal a lot of damage, like we've already noticed in previous playthroughs. And they, of course, can help whoever has engaged something. So the half team goes left, half team goes right type of deal does not impede us from using towers. Why would it? Moving a nice fire line. Single blue, uh, blue movements into full cover. And in some of the ca uh, cases we need to double move just so that we have a decent start. Good. Can this obsession end, please? Perfect. Thank you. Let's find out where the Chosen is located. So that was not it. Let's try again. I am surprised. I could have sworn that she that we should that she w would be here. Renvin begins to move up as well and let's slowly but surely start moving forward with our fire line yeah it goes without saying that you don't, don't want to stand in the open like a complete idiot Good. Moving over here. Setting 
The towers do have overwatch as well, so do our mechs. There's definitely a large group over here, which we soon will need to engage. But there's also a Chosen out here, and I wonder where that is. Yeah, we do not have, uh, we haven't reloaded yet. So I want to make sure that we're hopefully not pulling anything by just moving here. Of course. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll do you all a favor. We're reloading, and then afterwards, let's remove the cover. There we go. Yeah, well, we can already start moving a bit closer, I suppose. Oh, wait, she could uh, shoot back. Yeah, I remember that. We definitely don't want that to happen. So instead, let's just teach her manners. That's two hits. Is your fear so great? You must rely on these soulless constructs. Well, I think these soulless constructs, as you call them, have proven themselves to be quite worthful. Reloading. Speaking about which, you are not. And with 12 points of damage, we... Sent her to Valhalla, or wherever her cor uh, sarcophagus is located. It is rare to find an opponent worthy of my skills. Rarer still to find one capable of besting me more than once. We showed the chosen that the resistance. We showed the chosen was boss. That's now what we, we did. Gotta be a bit careful. I don't want to trigger anything. So what we're doing is. We're moving the rookies up. On my way. Headed there now. Headed there move, now. move, move. And hail up here, moves over here. Like I said, keeping approximately that line, always having like a few overworld shots ready. Hector okay, can reload. Overwatch. On Overwatch. Scanning. And now both of the sites start to essentially work their way through. We can't take hits like that. In all fairness, when we now do the comparison, it's probably a bit off because the um the Sparks have already killed a massive pack of four, including an Andromedon, plus the Chosen. I mean, they killed the, uh, killed both of these completely by themselves. There was no involvement of the rookies. Whilst on the other hand, the rookies so far have really just been there. Which shows how well the sparks are performing to be honest because the rookies also have decent equipment it's not that they are completely under equipped or anything Solid copy. their biggest problem as always is the amount of movement that they do have available As per the usual, we're doing solid X coming by moving blue moves only first 
and once that is done we are continuing with more good DDM takes point here and that's exactly why you want to do that uh, sort of one move at a time let's see how this here develops the rookies got their first fight just noticed that probably one of the things that i should have considered before doing uh, the uh, before having this idea is that the rookies of course didn't really have any explosives other than an EMP grenade. Since this is probably the hardest um, enemy that also is a machine at the same time, might as well already use the EMP grenade. Shutdown for two rounds means we have it under control. When you when you get the shot uh, down, you essentially don't need to worry about the follow-up turns too much. And this here now becomes, of course, the biggest problem. Uh, their utter incompetence to hit. Let's keep his Mimic Beacon. He's probably the one whom we need to work with. Can we maybe, we didn't want to interfere, so I'm not going to use the sparks. Can we maybe use some of the towers? Yes, we can. I said the towers are free fall. So let's start with the towers and see what they can hit. Even if they don't hit, you can see they remove the cover, which is fantastic because enemies are easier to hit once the trees are out of the way. Of course it's a double-edged sword because that cover could have helped the rookies afterwards. Nice. See the towers themselves might even save the rookies here. Holy shit. And I'm still being sometimes asked in the forum why would you build uh, a defense matrix like isn't that obvious i would i would ask isn't isn't it completely clear like they are so strong and if there would be if there would be an engineer in there it would even get an aim bonus how could you not build them Okay, perfect. So, uh, that was unfortunately not good enough. XQ6, Overwatch, Overwatch here, Overwatch here. We're taking a lot of Overwatches. Mainly because the mech is already disabled and it's too far for the heavy purifier to to move to us i can't help it if he runs into the other pack then that's his choice not mine he clearly didn't respect kind of the separation uh, segregation of duties rookies are responsible for the right hand side and not for the uh, and not for the left hand side, but whatever. Let's try to hit this guy. Do we have blue screen rounds? No, we don't. Yes. There we go. Good to go. Good. I am happy to inform you that the rookies have finally bested their first enemy pack. 
albeit with a little bit of help. Closing on target position now. But I can accept that. Now there is a bigger piece of fight coming up. Let's go. Ooh. That is quite a pack of vipers. Good, so how about, just thinking out loud here, how about not using the last rocket launcher because I sort of have the feeling that we will still, well, we still have one here. Never mind, how about we're using that big, beautiful rocket launcher. Yeah, that looks like a good idea. Hmm. Where to move in, that would be risky because we would be risking to trigger another pack. I don't want to promote risky behavior. Instead, let's first of all get rid of the cover here. Thanks to the towers, they should remove a lot of it. I was hoping that it would destroy the uh, the tree there. Advancing. Good. All of the mechs are moving up. We still got Bombard going if we so desire, but not large enough of an area. We can take out the Spectre also take out one of uh, the snakes. Let's first of all have a couple of good shots. Unfortunately they can still dodge. Fortunately for us we do have the hair trigger. Which makes their dodges a bit futile. Good. Let's use this here. Fortunately not a kill. But close. We can get behind full cover. And the null lens will kill this viper. No problem with the Spectre, we can always take care of it next turn. It doesn't shoot and thus it should be easy to deal with it. Yeah, the three mechs are definitely cleaning house. Armor systems functioning 
I should cor stand corrected. This guy is going to shoot. Never seen them not use their Psy abilities or their Shadow, uh, their shadow Cloak abilities, uh, Shadow Clone abilities, if they had the chance to do that. So, interesting. That's more because they knew that they can't really hurt the sparks with it. Hence, he started using his shooting abilities. And that's fine. They are quite plausibly um, good just um, infantry units overall. It's not bad. And they have a uh, decent to hit and are all around pretty decent units, specifically the elite specter ones. No, we don't want to just strike that. Reload. Instead, reload and let's take a shot. Okay, on the other side of the map. This is a difficult approach because there is not a lot of cover. We're taking both sides. Both kind of extremes to see if we're pulling something. We're not. We move all the way up to here. But that would be dangerous, yeah. We can already see that that would be pulling them. Moving out. Staying a bit outside of their range. And let's get a bit closer. Overwatching. I'm on it. I'm on it. Fire shots. That's one turret down, but good. We got a couple of the turrets down now. Or one at least. Let's see how we're approaching the right hand side. The right flank is uh, rookies versus proper enemies and we've seen there are quite a few. Let's spot out if that here would trigger them. It would not so I suggest we're using the shadow of uh, um, of uh, these barricades in order to come a bit closer and surprise them. This here might as well trigger them, yeah, because uh, there would be line of sight. I didn't want to fully overwatch yet. Well, maybe I want it because we're almost out of ammunition here. Yeah, we gotta hurry up. It's not that it's the end of the world so far, but we got a few more packs to go. Can't slow down too much. And we're reaching the 30 minute mark. And I know I'm uh, going to see complaints in the comments down below. But boy, boy, is this here a good cliffhanger, isn't it? We got a nice team over here. Rookies versus uh, Mac and uh, three others. We got lightly injured uh, vehicles over here that we can take out and there are even some more enemies over here. 
So I will call it quits. That is the end of episode number one or the uh, first episode for the Stephens so far. I would say the um, Sparks have a pretty significant edge on the rookies, but uh, leave your predictions uh, down below. Are the rookies going to be able to catch up? The Sparks have already cleared this area. Will the rooks be fast in doing so as well? And can they ultimately come to here and help as well? So that's the question for today. See you all in the next episode and keep liking my stuff if you like it. Thank you, have a great one and goodbye.